Dreams Catcher Special. Let me start with the highlight medley so we can hear what the album's saying before we dive into that as well. Ooh. Maddox. Oh, the vocals. You can hear how much like Shion's voice just punches through. Um, so Maddox always writes the lyrics for them. If it's the same, this must be the same Maddox. And who's Olunda and Pepperoni? So these are the same people pretty much for the whole thing. Have they, have they always been there for the other albums as well? That one sounds nice, I like that. Oh, is that the last one? Oh. Okay. Now let's check out what the intro sounds like and then we'll do Bon Voyage. Oh, this might not even be anything actually. I feel like if it's an intro that's this short, the album should have six tracks. It's five, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Into Bon Voyage. There's so much going on. It's crazy what music says. This is this is why I always check out Jim Kasha because they're not for me for the most part, but I'm fascinated by how different the music is and that people put this on and like, it's my bag in terms of, it's so much going on. I'm like, how do you even process it? Like the drums are like, tuk, 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 tuk. it's like straight away. There wasn't even an ease into it. It just goes, it just punches you straight in. It's crazy. And the guitar. I love the video though. Oh. They sound good. Oh, so the real world and fake world. Mm. 
开玩机。嗯 Do you know what? There's something in that chorus, yeah. If it wasn't there, I think I would I wouldn't find it as sh it's something in that middle shh, like that treble kind of mid level that is just adding more like um static. That if it wasn't there, I think I would really like. I mean, even I'm used to the drums already now. Um, the drums and the guitar and the vocal. Considering how high the vocal is, it blends really nicely. Um, it doesn't sound that overwhelming, but. I would opt just to remove. Let me see if I can point it out, but it's hard to hit, hit isolate it. Do you know what it is? It's the crash from the drum. And to be fair, that's just a pet peeve. I've always hated that in college. I hated, I hated when people go and cymbals. Ah, ah. Like I think in every now and then they're okay, but I just personally have a gripe with crashes and cymbals. Because I like the bass. The bass is moving a lot. The bass and the drums are like doing. Love these verses. Mm. And the vocals. That, that guitar reminds me of um, Today is gonna be the day that you're gonna bring it back to you It's got a similar Oasis Wonderful by the way For those that don't know <laughs> Above all, yeah, this is what I always say. Vocals will mean uh, is you're going to enjoy it. Like, above all, we listen to music because we want to hear singers sing. What a concept. <gasps> but, like, and these girls can sing and they sound so good as harmonies. And the way they're performing the song, I totally believe what they're saying. Like, there's so much presence in the softer vocals and even in the bigger vocals. They are conveying the emotion to the lyrics and that is what I find frustrating when I listen to other groups I'm like they sound bored or it sounds like a demo there's none of that here this sounds like singers oh it sounds fantastic let's go back a little bit sing sorry I'm pausing again but also in the mix her voice has so much room around her that's how I'm hearing it like it feels like this is this is her voice and the guitar is like here and the bass is here and like there's just this space for her voice to just I guess it's the reverb because reverb um, does that it gives you that sense of being in a hall um, it's a nice vocal effect and it just sounds she just sounds great is, is that guy on I can't tell and I also like that no one's sorry just because I saw Danny <laughs> I'm like I'm glad no one's rapping I feel like it's it helps with just the flow of the song. Is that? It might be G. I can't tell if it's G or Guyon. Could be Sua even. No, that's Sua. Ah. I love that bit here. And I love the lyrics. That'd be one of my top comebacks. 
Everything's changed as I've got as the song's gone in. You are my girl. I love that note. Those drums. <laughs> ah, the, I remember this is exactly what they did in another in, a, in another song. Um, it might have been deja. It's deja vu. There's a harmony that I think Shion's just done that tickles my brain and they always do it i love that they do that because it means they have a musical identity let me you that i know you it just adds that dimension to that chord oh oh my god i'm so into this Are you not hearing these chords? I, do you know, I, I do you know, I'm gonna say something so honest, yeah. When I was reacting to the highlight medley at the start, I was like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna listen to the rest of the album. This sounds too much, maybe I can't handle it. But they are executing this amazingly. The musicality in the vocals and the chords and how the vocals are performed. This is fucking fantastic. Like, I'm so happy I checked this out. I am so happy. I'm actually, I, I might add this on my phone. This song is fantastic. This song is a 9 out of 10 for me. I'm shocked I'm even saying that. That's taking me on such a beautiful journey. They are amazing. It sounds loud, but it's tactful. I will still take a couple of things out, but fuck it. That's the identity. I'm loving this. What? So it's still the same, and then they change it for the one after. All right, let's experience that song again. I obviously was going back and forth a lot. Then. You know why it's a lot as well? The the bass has a that double pedal, which you hear in a lot of like indie or even rock. So it's like, so it's even more intense.
guitar as well. And I just like the song has dynamics, like it's fantastically executed. I still can't tell if that's too well. I think it must be. Fuck. Nah, I think it's Guyon. But then this really looks exactly like Sua. <laughs> Voice suits that part so well. They're dancing, man. I'm amazed by that. I truly am. Let me just see what the showcase looks like. So I'll just do a fan cam because I don't want it to ruin my thingy because it's on the official website as well. Oh, but who's missing? Tony's in So what's got there? Guyon's no. Yeah, Guyon's missing. I think I still remember everyone now. Actually no. Who's that? Everyone looks a little different. So I've got Shion, Handong, Dami, Sua, Yeon, and GU looks different, man. That is GU. She kind of looks like Guyon there. Oh my god, she looks different. Oh, okay, thank god. Yes, okay, Guyon is there. Good. Oh, phew. I was like, no, I don't want someone to be missing. Okay, let's see. Let's see that Korea. Oh, beautiful. See, I've once again, Yuhon, she just catches my eye. She always catches my eye. I love how she dances. Her between her and Sua, but sometimes Yuhon, I'm like, main dancer energy. It's her lines and her energy. She just has it. Come on, Sua! Sua, my cow! Look at it! It's, it's that, that and the chest, come on! She, ooh! Oh my god! Ooh! This song is just growing on me more! It's so beautiful melodically! And it suits the sadness of the lyrics. See you on. Wow, Gion's chest pops there. Wow. It's so much singing that chorus. Shit. I knew she was a strong vocalist, but oh my god. Oh, she's 
an all-rounder, I guess. I'm having so much fun, guys. I'm really having a blast. Girl groups. Girl groups. Once again. Yeah. See that? Like... Uh -huh. And to think she's taller than Sua, but she's lower than her as well. That's impressive. See, now she's taller again. Wow. Oh, that jump and the and the feeling in it felt so in sync. Oh, that was nice. Clean as fuck. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, thank God for girl groups, man. <laughs> oh, nice cannons. All right, yes. Wow, <laughs> guys, I'm so, I'm so happy and I'm very much excited to listen to this album now or well, the rest of the three songs and I'm excited for the full length album whenever it comes like they are, is, oh, this is fantastic work. This is fantastic work. That's all I can say. It has an identity. It's artistic. They perform amazingly. They sound amazing. They look great. They just seem authentic. This is... I'm so happy. This and Idol show that. With Idol, I, I didn't even end up connecting to either of those songs as much as I did with Bon Voyage. But I could still appreciate their own stamp and their own identity of artistry coming through. So the people writing the lyrics and producing it and everything, they're doing a great job. And what I love about that song, I'm literally doing a whole essay because I'm just like, ah! What I love about that song is just they've managed to still keep so much of Dreamcatcher's elements but also soften some of the parts for basic people like me. Um, and it worked a charm. I think they need to be ready to perform that um, for Encore because that's going to go. I predict two or three wins at least so fingers crossed but i think they're gonna do it so join me in patreon for the next three songs and for everyone else let's carry on the party